Let's get this straight. Nearly $2,000 is too much to spend for any smartwatch, and I'm not gonna end this video saying any differently. But in the eight months since I purchased the Garmin Mark Captain for review, I've covered 12 other smartwatches, and every single one of them would have been better if it had a little captain in it. Here's five features from the Garmin Mark series that I wish everyone else would just steal. Launching things with number five, build quality. By and large, the wearables I see on most wrists are made of materials which were chosen to hit a price point, not because they're the best. Look at the third generation Armani smartwatch, or the Skagen Falster 3 I'm reviewing next. Both are attractive, but they're also so light as to seem insubstantial. Now, sometimes you want a lightweight watch, but no one wants something that feels cheap. And if the featherweight cases don't give you that impression, the easily scratched glass will. Now, if those watches feel like pogs, well, the Mark Captain is a slammer. This thing stands more than a half inch above the wrist, and it masses 95 grams. That's like two of the heaviest Apple watches put together. If that sounds ponderous to you, I get it. It's not for everyone. But every time I put it on, that heft is a reassuring reminder that this titanium casing is built to last. The ceramic bezel and domed sapphire cover reinforce that. My Mark Captain looks better after eight months than my Armani Smartwatch 3 did after eight days. The bottom line, it's not a watch you need to fuss or fret over. Number four, the buttons and the bits. There's no touchscreen here, and so no need to tap a tiny touch target to get things done. Instead, you've got five pushers on the perimeter, each with a chunky click stop at the end of its action. Now look, learning how this works is not easy. For the first time in years, I had to sit down and read the manual. But once you train your muscle memory to remember which buttons do what, believe it or not, it becomes second nature. And while this low-res screen might make it seem like you're living in some alternate universe where the Apple Watch was never invented, this is a fully featured smartwatch. Notifications buzz in from your phone and stack up like you'd expect on a list that also includes your schedule, weather, media controls, sunset time, and readouts from the watch's sensors. Want to pay for your coffee with your watch? You can do that. Store songs right on board? Plenty of room on the 32 gigs of storage, alongside the nautical specializations that give the watch its name, and the GPS and fitness tracking that Garmin's known for. It's kind of like one of those modern Victrolas or Bluetooth boomboxes that Best Buy is kicking out these days. Just because it looks low-tech doesn't mean that it is. Number three, staying power. I don't need to say much about this because it's pretty simple. While most smartwatches need to top up every other night, at least, the Mark Captain lasts over a week on a single charge. And staying power has another meaning too. For the Mark family, Garmin doubles its standard one-year warranty to two years. Number two, focus. Each of the watches in the Mark family is laser focused on a specific kind of user. With its tide tables, regatta timers, and ability to link with a boat's Garmin instruments, the Captain is obviously for sailors. But there are five other Mark watches. The Aviator has preloaded airport locations and weather maps. The Driver lets you use one of 250 racetracks as a watch face. The Athlete has pulsa running. I, I don't know. I'm too distracted by that beautiful green button. Let's be real, though. These features are mostly gimmicks meant to pander to the kind of person a Mark buyer wants to be. I doubt many sailors are ever going to buy the Mark Captain for its charts or man overboard button. And as one commenter put it on a blog to watch, real special ops soldiers are far less likely to buy the military-themed commander than so-called chairborn rangers. From one perspective, this whole product family could seem kind of like expensive cosplay. Be that as it may, I like cosplay. And I like that unlike a standard smartwatch, which is customizable only through software and colorway, each mark option is special. And that's my final feature for this video, and the most subjective, distinctiveness. This is a watch that knows it's not for everyone. When you put it on, you feel like you're really wearing something unique. 
This is one reason luxury products actually sell. There's an allure to a carefully crafted timepiece. And it's something I've found lacking among conventional smartwatches for years now. If you're tempted, I recommend waiting to see if Garmin puts a better display in the next generation. And even then, think long and hard about whether you want to spend more on your watch than you do your phone. Yeah, I know that's common for luxury mechanical watches, but like I said at the top, this is too much money for any smartwatch. For everything I love about the Captain, there's a lot about the app and the interface that I'd change. And being technology, it won't last nearly as long or build nearly as much value as a true mechanical heirloom. You're not going to be passing this down to your grandkid. For smartwatches a little closer to sanity in pricing from Garmin and others, check out my other wearable reviews by subscribing to The Mr. Mobile on YouTube and follow me at the same handle on Instagram for the occasional sneak peek at wearables and other mobile tech that haven't yet made it to the review desk. Reminder, Mr. Mobile does not produce paid reviews. The watch featured in this video was a purchased retail product and Garmin was given no editorial input, copy approval, or even an early look at this video. Long story short, disagree with my opinions all you want, but they are my opinions. This wasn't a commercial. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay mobile, my friends.